Hi everyone, so this is the third lesson. Um, now I told you there's three ways of doing hypothesis tests. So the first two ways were either checking the probability based on the X, which our calculator does, or the old way before we had calculators, which was standardising it. There's also another way. So instead of comparing the probabilities, what I can do is find the X value or the Z value where this 5% boundary is, or the 1% boundary is. So this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to use inverse normals on this. So these have been worked on. This is inverse normals with the area. Oops, can't write. The area for this one is 0 0.05. With the tail left, or the tail right, or the tail central, with sigma as, uh, as 1. Oops and mu as zero. And this one down here is the same with an area of 0 0.01. And the 10% one's got an area of 0 0.1. But it's just got the Z values out. And then the problem with this is, once you've got that Z value, you have to kind of reverse that Z equals X minus mu over sigma over root anything. Oop, press one button. Um, to, get the, the, um, to get the actual X. So it says we're working backwards. That's what we're doing. So we're finding the X value. That's what we're kind of doing. So here's our distribution. We know it's the top 5%, say. Oops, can't write. So I'm looking for that number, and I'm going to compare it against the X bar. So I'll find this X to compare. against x bar there. So it says a random variable x has a normal distribution with a mean mu, standard deviation of 2, the random sample of 25 observations taken, uh, x bar is uh, calculated, so mu is 7, and there, so I've got what I've got, so I've got x follows a normal distribution of 7 comma 2 squared, leading to a sample of a normal distribution with 7 comma 2 squared over 25. So my sample standard deviation will be 2 over 5, 0 0.4 if I square root it. Right, I'm going to ignore the Z value bit for now. I'm going to look down here. So what I'm looking at, where am I looking at? The top 5%. That's what I want. I want the top 5%. So there's my 7. There's the top 5%. I want that X number. So if I do an inverse normal, so I'm looking for the probability that X bar is greater than X is 0.05. So if I do an inverse normal with the tail is right, the area is 0.05. I've got to use those values up there. So sigma is 0.4. Mu is... Uh, 7, and that gives me out an x value of, where is it, where is it, I've lost it already, of 8.316. So anything, so my critical value is called, if that x is greater than or equal to 8.316, then it's an issue. That's like a reject h naught. So if it's like that, it's going to be a reject h naught. Right, I've got four minutes left. I'm going to pause it. I'll do the standardised way. So you same idea, uh, but I get the, the x, the z value out. So hang on a second. So let me pause it. Right, same idea. I get my z value out, which is 1.645, and then I use this big formula to get it back to the 8.316. And then same idea. Anything bigger than 8.316 is where my issue is. There's a one for you on this next page. Oh, there's another example. Right, so I'll, st I'll pause, stop it and do another one.